Hey friends, Steph here again. I am so excited you decided to join me today and learn a bit about Jesus. Woo! Today, we are going to continue our series, Opposite Day. Doesn't that sound so cool? Yeah, I think so too. This series is all about some of the things that Jesus said that may seem opposite of the lives we live today. These opposites are going to remind us that we may not always understand what God has planned first, but He will always know better than we do. Wow, everyone, this series has been just so good. Hey, do you remember what we learned about last week? Yeah, that's exactly it. We learned about how and why Jesus called the disciples. I had a stellar time learning all about it. Did you? Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, oh my, I just seem to be talking and talking and I didn't even ask, did you guys have a splendid week this week? Yeah, I did too. I have been planning a party because today is the Super Bowl. Have you guys heard about it? Yeah. I know a lot of grown-ups are so excited about it. I, I think I have the whole idea of the game. I've been studying and studying all the things I could possibly know about football. There are two teams with a bunch of players and they chase a ball that kind of looks like an egg on this huge field. And they want to get the egg looking ball to the goal thing, which is like the big empty space on the other side of the field. Wait, is it called a goal? Maybe it's a base? No, 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 that's not it. I know the team that scores all the field goals wins. Wait, <sighs> okay, okay, okay. I don't get it completely, but that's okay. I still do get to have a party. <laughs> and who doesn't love a party? Yeah, exactly. The food, the games, the fun, it is just such a great experience. Hey, speaking of games, what do you say we play a game right now? You know, one to test our fitness abilities. I'm not too sure what the outcome will be, but I'm excited. So, what do you say? Yeah, sounds great. Let's do it. Hello, young player. Before you get your shot in the game, you have to show me that you have what it takes by earning it at practice. Show me the ability to jump over the low bars, to dodge the sandbags that come from the left and from the right, and by spinning around the sandbags that come right at you. Also, do not forget to duck underneath the high bars. Good luck, young player. You did such a stellar job. Did you have fun playing that game? Yeah, me too. You know, speaking of fun, I think we should sing some songs. What do you think? It's totally okay if you aren't that good at singing. All that matters is that you try. You know the songs I was thinking that we could sing are some worship songs. So it's just us and God. You think you could give it a try? Yeah, I think you can. Let's do it.
I'm setting up for a super fun Super Bowl party. Woohoo! While my parents are watching the game, I thought it would be fun if I had friends over and we had a party too. You know, everyone likes parties, right? Hey, Stephanie. Hey, Rob. <laughs> are you all ready for a party? Uh, what? I can't understand you when you have your mouth full of pepperoni, silly. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I just can't help myself. I, I love pepperoni and cheese. Which is exactly why I figured I'd bring some over for the party. Thanks so much. <laughs> of course. I came over early to see if you were all ready for it. Um, Steph? Yeah? Uh, you know the party's today, right? Of course I do. Oh, like, like in a few hours? Yeah. Well... It sure doesn't look like you're ready yet. Where, where are the streamers and balloons? Are we playing games? I know at Donna Jean's party last week, we played a whole bunch of games and... I know, I know, I just, I'm trying to get everything ready, but it's so much stuff to do and I don't hey. know how to put up streamers. Hey, what is this? Oh. oh, hey, it's the big idea. Yeah, let me see it. Oh, friends, this week's big idea. Let me tell it to you. It's teamwork makes the dream work. Do you have any idea what that means? I, I know all kinds of things. I know how to help my mom fix the Wi-Fi. I know how to fix a computer, but I, I have no idea what that means. What do you say we learn a little bit more about this? I'm game. I love learning about the big ideas. Okay, let me gra grab the remote. <laughs> I think I had it with all the decorations, but... With the decoration, like in this hot mess? Yeah, I don't know. Um, oh, wait, here it is. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Have you ever wished you had a certain talent or gift? Maybe you wish you were a brilliant scientist or a world famous singer or a gold medal winning basketball player. Those are all good gifts. But sometimes, no matter how much we practice or how hard we try, we just won't have all the gifts we want. But that doesn't mean we don't have special gifts of our own. We all play an important role in the body of Christ, also known as the church. And God's given all of us gifts to help. The Apostle Paul talks about this in the book of 1 Corinthians. He said to think about it like this. In our human body, our eyes and our feet were made to do very different things. Our eyes were made to see, and our feet were made to walk. If our eyes and our feet decided to change places, how would we see? How would we walk? Our bodies wouldn't work very well. The body of Christ is the same way. God's given us our special gifts as part of His church. When we use those gifts well, the whole body of Christ works like it should to show God's love to each other and the world. But when we don't use our gifts or get jealous and wish we had different gifts, it's like we're an eye wishing we were a foot. 
God made you to be you with your own unique and special mix of gifts and talents. So think about how you can use the gifts He's given you to follow Jesus and serve others as part of the church. When you do that, you'll be true to the self God made you to be. Wow, that was simply amazing. It really was. I don't think it has ever been explained to me like that. I know. Can you believe that all together we make the body, I mean, like the actual body of Jesus? No, but I guess that does make this week's big idea make so much more sense. Yes, exactly. Some of us are the hands, some are the feet, <laughs> some are the brain, some are the voice of the body of Jesus. Right? <laughs> that is so cool. And when all those parts work together, things get completed. That is fascinating. But how does that help us, like, right now? Well, right. The, the party. Um, we could sit down and formulate a plan that would make this all a whole lot easier. Um, do we need, like, some paper? Because I don't think I have any paper in this mess of decorations. I, I think if we could write it down, maybe draw it out or write some kind of equation, um, mm. we, we would definitely be able to solve this. Equations? Math? Ugh, math really isn't my strong suit. Oh my goodness, I have it! The paper? No, the solution! Well, what did you come up with? What if we call for help? What kind of help? Okay, so hear me out. If everyone working together is the body of Jesus, couldn't we call our friends and everyone uses their skills to help us get ready for the party? A decorating party before the party party? Exactly. That sounds like fun. Desi could hang all the stuff up high. You know, she's really good at aiming. And Donna Jean had awesome decorations at her party last week. Maybe we should call her. Yeah, and what if we call Luca to put out the snacks and Noah for the games? Oh, perfect. I bet Emma would love to help with the games too. Look, we made a great plan without even having to write it down. Go us. We make a really good team, and I bet we'll make an even better team with everyone else, too. I bet we will. I better see if they can all come over early. Okay, I'll go make a few calls. Bye. Thanks. Rust City Kids, I am so glad that we learned how working together and everyone using their gifts makes accomplishing things so much easier. It was the opposite of what I thought I should be doing because, you know, I wanted to do everything myself, but sometimes we should ask for help when we need it. Hey, speaking of things we should do, what do you say we practice this month's memory verse? Yeah? Come on, stand up and let's get this memory verse down. Wow, can you believe it's February already? This year is zooming by, but that also means a new memory verse. This year, this month's memory verse is 2 Corinthians 12, 9. And it says, my grace is sufficient for you. My power is made perfect in weakness. This means that God is enough for us, no matter the situation, no matter the circumstances. I definitely wanna get this one in my brain, so let's get these motions going. Move one, we're gonna point to the sky. Move two, we're gonna lower our hands, palms up. Move three, we're gonna flex. And then move four, gonna put our arms down. Now that we have the motions, let's get our words matched up. 2 Corinthians 12, nine. My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Amazing job, friends. You know what time it is. Time to, spe it's time to speed things up. Let's go. 2 Corinthians 12, nine. My grace is sufficient for you, my power is made perfect in weakness. You guys are good. Share this memory verse with your friends and family. They'll, they'll wanna know this one for sure. Have a great day. Gosh, friends, I can tell that you have been practicing. You did amazingly awesome. Well, I think I'm gonna finish getting ready for the party. I hope you all have the best week. And remember, sometimes we have to do the opposite of how we feel. Pray and accept help. 
I'll see you real soon. Hey there, family. We hope that you enjoyed today's Rust City Kids experience. Here at Rust City, we know church and parenting both go beyond, and I mean way beyond Sunday mornings. Your child's relationship with the Lord takes time to cultivate and develop. The famous saying is, it takes a village, right? Being connected to our kids is so important. And also, we would love to connect to you and partner with you and encourage you as a family throughout the week. You can stay connected by downloading our app and signing up for our parent email on our website. These emails have encouragements from our kids' pastors, activities to do at home, notifications about upcoming events, and so much more. Be sure to check out this month's parent guide while you're on the website. It breaks down all that we covered in the month. Also, you can utilize the Big Show Note Sheet on our website to help you and your kiddos follow along throughout the online service. Check it out. Have a great week. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.